Hey, this is Night Flame, and I'm here to review Detective Comics issue number 31, um, Icarus Part 2, new team on board, and I didn't review last issue on my channel. It has to do with um, this new drug, and um, I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, so this opens up with the death of Anna Aguilar. Um, she was doing, she was going into business with um, Bruce Wayne. She dies in front of his, like, uh, in front of the Wayne Manor, she ends up getting killed by this drug named Icarus. She, she like burns alive. That's what I feel like. What it feels like it happened to her, you know. Um, and uh, Harvey Bullock, he's, um, he's like questioning Bruce Wayne. He's like, you know, uh, she died in front of your front door, and um, that's just really bad, you know, because I know that rich people, um, have a lot of things to hide, and you know, I think you probably got crazy and people don't know how to spend their money with and you probably but the drug Icarus and then he says oh yeah I had a bad history with Icarus um, my partner died uh, when we stopped the drug and now it's coming back so he has a like he has a really bad history with Icarus the drug and um Batman in this issue he goes to investigate he investigates a lot he goes on a fight with um I mean he, he investigates this is issue he's basically a detective that's what he does in this issue um, we see a lot of it, the panels, all, it's just detective, just like the title says, Detective Comics, this issue is just detective. Um, we also see, you know, he does, like, things like, um, a questioning, he uses disguises, just does everything a detective would do. Um, the leads are all dying, Harvey Bullock doesn't know, the only person he, uh, you know, he thinks is a suspect right now is Bruce Wayne, so... Um, you know, nobody knows what how exactly Icarus is showing up in the streets. Um, Anna Aguilar's daughter is trying to do her own research, and um, Harvey Bullock is just you know he, in this issue he's not he's not really a likable character. Yeah, uh, you know, Batman's research ends up getting him into a fight with a sumo person. I don't really know his name. I think his name was the sumo or something. He ends up getting almost like near death. Uh, he fights with Batman and he almost like. He goes into a fight and he almost g ends up getting killed by Batman. Um, and you know, he gets clues, and that's where the issue ends where Batman has to f follow who the squid is. And I thought this issue was really solid. Um, the coloring of this issue is great, but at some parts, you know, like in the sumo wrestler, when he was fighting the sumo character, it was all like uh, I couldn't. Uh, you know, see, see it very well. It was hard to follow, just because of the coloring. But I thought this this was a solid issue. Um, I'm probably not gonna pick up the next issue because I think Batman Eternal is just enough Batman. Even though I really enjoy this, I just you know my pool list is just getting bigger and bigger, and I can't just keep picking up things like this. But I thought it was a solid issue. I definitely do think you guys should pick it up if you like um, Buccellato and Manipul, just definitely pick it up. It's it's just a great series, even to look at. It's just really great. So, definitely good. I gave this issue a 8 out of 10. Definitely pick it up if you enjoy this. And I just think it's a really good, just a really good run. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.